Welcome to the city of Rome. We have one tree, a park, three windmills, a wastewater treatment plant, and introducing the VJ Viaduct. What used to take one hour to travel from one end of the island to the other now takes only 55 minutes. The city of Rome is looking forward to welcoming you. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Chill Cities by Caper Cafe. As you may have seen in that cheesy introduction, we have been doing some expanding in the city of Rome. I took the time to add in the, the VJ Viaduct. It extends well over the shoreline, over the hills, as you can see here, and also through farmland, which is going to be a bit interesting to design around. But other than that, as you can see here, I added in some new roads uh, all around backside of the high school. I created, I finished off this uh, district here, the roads um, leading onto Bell Avenue, a new subdivision uh, off of uh, off of the back end of this old old new subdivision and maybe the biggest things being of course the VJ viaduct that runs along the river side of the island and extension of Bell Avenue that runs right through the heart of the western half of the island and as you can see from the topography map here I was trying to get it more or less central in, in the future I was going to consider what to do about these oil deposits. I'm not quite sure if I want to develop them just yet because of course there'll be city right here and oil right there would be a bit messy and on the coast I'm also planning to have some beachfront property. But we'll see. So today's episode is going to be a bit different. I have some very unfortunate news for the city of Rome and for the citizens of Rome and for everyone watching this series, which you'll uh, you'll find out at the end of the episode in spectacular fashion. But there are some things that I can do today, which will be looking at district creation. So I've always had in my mind with the wonderful names here, Cool Running Street, Feel the Rhythm Street, Feel the Rhyme Street, and Senka Udedmon Street, that I wanted to create this whole area here as its own unique village. So I think I might map that out right now. So the wonderful thing about the district creation tool is that you can really just snap right onto the roads if you want to. Down here um, below this area, it's a bit less developed, so I might not actually um, consider that part of this area. But now that I have this, it won't be Hawthorne Gardens, this area. This is going to be Little Jamaica after the Jamaican bobsled team. And another area that I had wanted to name, inspiration taken from Grace Street and Grace Park, was this area over here. Perhaps one problem with the line tool being um, straight lines, it does make it a bit difficult with curved roads. Uh, pretty good. Uh, I can probably fix this up. All right, perfect. That's pretty good. And uh, yeah, after those places, I'm going to name this Grace Village. And we had a suggestion come in from Chris Swisher to name a granny district after Bethesda Questers Starfield series featuring the lovable do-gooder granny. And I'm not quite sure how it's going to look or what's going to be in it, but I figured I would eye this back end area behind the high school as as yeah, district no call it grannyville and everyone at the high school is gonna love to go back to grannyville i guess so you may have noticed that i have not unpaused the game yet and let it run as i typically do and there's a very good reason for that but first breaking news from the rome reporter people pleased as powerful poop processing progresses from Brother Scoditti, in a bold move, Mara Caper Cafe, the effluent that has long befouled our waterways is now on its way out, thanks to a strong expansion of processing capacity. Roland Rose, director of the Public Works Department, was 
bumbling as he cut the ribbon at the new settling pool. A sweeter smelling future is on our horizons. The settling pool has since been demolished. More from the Rome reporter. Romans think mares the shit. A large crowd gathered with uproarious cheers as Mayor Caper Cafe opened the new sewage treatment plant. Tom Tipton said, That's why I love this town, always getting better every single day. Zoe Zangler said, Goodness, I don't know what the mayor can do to top this one. How do you do more good for Rome than this? A letter from the local elementary school thanks the mayor for getting this city's poop in a group with a box of chocolates from the newly arrived local chocolatier, Didi Sko. And now it's time for the weekly chirper. BTV James says, Doomsday has finally come and fire is taking over the city. Uh, don't worry, James. We have plenty of fire extinguishers down at the Foundation Fire Hall. You are in good hands and you're most definitely not stuck in an Excel, Excel spreadsheet. Bethesda Quester, I can only imagine how hot and sweaty the real Rome is, but in this Rome, everything is cool and dark, and you will find out why in a few seconds. Joy Savvy, I'm very happy that you were able to find the Donkey Kong Country song. Like I said, I've never actually played the original Donkey Kong Country on Super Nintendo. Uh, I totally agree. Mario Paint is another great jam to do work on with. So like I said, there has been no unpausing of the game so far. And as it turns out, as I have recently read with an image that's posted on the screen right now, when you pause the game in City Skylines 2 in its current state, unfortunately, and build too much, uh, now, they had said in the form it was related to adding more too many people while paused, but I'm pretty sure I'm seeing an example of what's broken. I built all of these streets while the game was paused because, of course, I didn't want the game running and doing things. And I figured, why not? It sounds logical to me. So I extended Bell Avenue to the end of the island. I built the massive VJ Viaduct. I built these subdivisions. I built Grannyville. And unfortunately, the game doesn't like that. So when I unpause, it only takes a few seconds, but eventually all of the services, well, in this case, it just died. So I think that's the end. I think that's the end of Rome, and I'm not really sure what I want to do next. Should I start a new city in City Skylines 2? Should I maybe play City Skylines 1? Or should I start a new game entirely? Certainly let me know. And in the meantime, please go check out the complete finished series of Chill Cities by Caper Cafe, Rome edition, as well as Man Cave Chris's new Valheim hardcore series. And I will see you next time. And remember, Rome was not built in 10 minutes, but it certainly crashed in one minute. See you next time. Bye.